My least favorite topic. <laughs> Max, after you. I think coconut oil is a <coughs> is a great food. It's it's amazing to cook with. It's primarily a saturated fat, so it's chemically stable at high temperatures. Um, it's also rich in a kind of fat called a medium chain triglyceride. Breast milk is abundant in medium chain triglycerides. In coconut oil, this this kind of fat has a unique role in the body. It goes straight to the liver and it becomes converted to ketones. And there's some you know, preliminary evidence, um, it's not always consistent, but that these kinds of fats can provide a really significant boost to the brain. Okay. So I'm all about ketones, I'm all about good fats and bad fats and knowing the difference. Um, the problem in my perspective uh, with coconut oil is when it comes to Alzheimer's disease and brain health, I don't believe that there's a one size fits all approach. And um, from my clinical experience and based on some, some recent data uh, and also some past data, Certain people with certain genes may be able to tolerate and benefit from coconut oil, but other people with different genes, maybe not so much. So I'm all about ketone bodies. Um, the way that a body, uh, a person can actually uh, form their own ketone bodies is overnight fasting. After 12 hours or so of carbohydrate restriction, overnight, uh, that person can generate the body's own uh, natural cleaner burning fuel uh, ketone bodies after 14 hours or more that that level goes up and is most likely protective for the brain also cools down the insulin pathways because you're having less carbs and and stop with the insulin spikes the issue with coconut oil for me is that we haven't had the best studies yet we need more research um, also when you use coconut oil it's high in, it's high in uh, calories so every uh, teaspoon i believe is around 120 calories you need at least four or five six teaspoons at a minimum to have a ketosis effect that i believe may be beneficial in the brain so for me um i'm pretty cautious when it comes to coconut oil if you're gonna if a person's gonna try it, it needs to be a certain type uh, and if a person's going to try it, they need to reduce their overall caloric intake and overall uh, fat intake, in my opinion, so they don't gain weight.